nothing like the sound of church bells to begin our call to prayer. Let's now turn to Jesus, get into the heart and the soul of Christ with this beautiful song, this beautiful hymn, Soul of My Saviour. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are grateful to God for the many blessings we have received from Him through the prayers of our Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us once more ask her to pray with us and for us. The Redemptorists have a wonderful tradition and outreach because of our founder St. Alphonsus, especially to widows and orphans. And so this week, our theme and our focus will be for widows and orphans. All around the world, there have been special care for widows and orphans. So for this Novena Devotions, we focus our attention to widows and orphans and ask for the intercession of Mary to intercede for them. In the letter of St. James, chapter 2, verse 27, urges and encourages disciples of Christ to visit orphans and widows in their affliction. We pray for widows that have no financial and spiritual support, many of whom have to resort to begging in the poorer countries. May they find solace and peace through the mercy of God. For them we pray. Be with us, O loving Mother. Prophet Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 17, asks all of us to plead for a widow's cause. There are so many widows who seek justice for the loss of their husbands through an untimely death. Widows have no recourse or anyone to represent them in their fight for justice and recompense. For them, we pray. Be with us, O loving Mother. In the Gospel of St. Luke, Jesus draws attention to a widow's might. We praise and thank God for all generous widows who continue to share the little that they have, especially for women who give up their time and resources to help the poor. We remember our volunteers in our various parishes who, dedicate, who are dedicated to the welfare and well-being of others. 
For them, we pray. Be with us, O loving Mother. We pray for widows whose husbands died of a good cause in the time of duty. The hundreds of women whose husbands died due to violence and wars. We pray that the intercession of our Mother will bring them peace and healing. For this, we pray. Be with us, O loving Mother. We lift up to the Lord all orphan children who are waiting to find foster families. We pray for orphans who suffer discrimination because of race and colour. We pray for the orphanages and for their caregivers that they will have great compassion and love for these unwanted children of society. For them, we pray. Be with us, O loving Mother. Let us now pray the prayer for widows and orphans. Together, most loving Father and gracious God, you know the pain and sorrow of death. Mercifully hear our prayers for those who mourn the death of their loved ones. The nights are lonely and the days are too long. Comfort them and bring an end to the days of tears. Bless them with hope and heal their pain. May our Mother of Perpetual help protect and comfort widows and orphans. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me now share with you some of the many letters that have come into our website. Dear Mother Mary, I pray for a special needs person who is 36 years old. Please protect him from your grateful daughter. Dear Mother Mary, please give a safe trip to Germany for a friend. Protect him from the COVID-19 virus and deepen his Catholic faith from your loving daughter. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, I sincerely pray for my mental and physical well-being. Please pray that I recover from the aches and pains that I suffer from, from your grateful son. Dear Mother Mary, Please heal my brother who fell from his motorcycle recently and fractures his left ankle. He is in his mid-sixties and the healing takes a longer time. Help him have a speedy recovery from your grateful daughter. Dear Mother Mary, I pray for my grandson for his forthcoming PSLE exams. May he get enough points to continue his secondary education in his present school. I make this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus from a concerned grandmother. Dear Mary, I come to you to plead for a young man of 35 who suddenly fell, from a, fell into a coma about four days ago with severe lung infection. Dearest mother, I place him in your loving hands. Show him and his family your love and draw them closer to Christ. May the mercy and power of, of our Lord Jesus draw him and his family and help them discover God's love from your trusting daughter. Dear Mother of Perpetual Succor, I pray for my wife who has been having tightness around her chest coupled with breathlessness. Her pulse rate is in the range of 40s. She is not able to sleep for the past two weeks. I too have major health problems on the underside of my left foot and have not been working actively. Please intercede for me as I will start work to meet my insurance target for the year within the next three months. I pray also for more vocations to the priestly and religious life, especially to the Redemptorist Order and also for priests around the world in this time of the pandemic, from your loving children. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, I pray for my brother who is studying in Kuala Lumpur. He has not seen the rest of the family since January due to the closed borders. I also pray for my family's financial situation to improve. After finding out about this online novena in May, my family has been streaming it weekly and I always feel a sense of relief watching it 
especially during such a difficult time. Through the faith come to the petitions, I know that Mother Mary works wonders for her children. Bless my family with your protection from your loving daughter. Now for some Thanksgiving letters. Dear Mother, my sister's surgery went well yesterday. Thank you for your prayers and intercession. Please pray for a quick recovery and may God's peace be with her from your loving daughter. Dearest Mother, I come to love you more through the podcast every Saturday. The messages, the themes, the preachers and the letters are so inspiring. This is one of the best things that have come out of this pandemic. Thank you for helping us discover the love of Christ through this webcast from your grateful children. Dearest Mother of Perpetual Help, ever since we adopted a child, life has been so different. We can experience God's love for us and His blessings. Thank you for your intercession. I know that many people have been praying for us to have a child. Nonetheless, this adoption is the best gift to us ever from the ever grateful parents. Time for one more Thanksgiving. Dear Mother Mary, since my days from 1964 to 1990s, I have been living in Malaysia. During those days, I was not a Catholic. I only had the Novena book given to me by a Singapore relative and I prayed every day to you. I went through hardships and bullied by my late husband. I returned to Singapore in 1992 and was baptized in 1995. I am now 83 years old and I thank you for all the blessings I have received, big and small. Thank you for all the people in my life and for all my children from your grateful daughter. Let's continue our devotions with the prayer of confidence. Mother of perpetual help, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are the mother of mercy. You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past, we have so often sinned, but with your help we can conquer, and you will help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me. Let me never lose my God. Amen. Let us now share with Mary her prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. And you are our mother also. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart for giving us Mary to be our mother. She is so loving, so thoughtful, so understanding, so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. Please join in the next hymn to Mary, a beautiful hymn that we have selected for you. It's Sing We of the Blessed Mother.
my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, it gives me immense joy to talk about Mary as our Queen. We read in the fourth chapter of the book of Esther that in the reign of King Aswaras a decree was issued by which all Jews were condemned to death. Mordecai, who was one of the condemned, addressed himself to Queen Esther in order that she might intercede with King Aswaras and obtain the revocation of the decree and thus save all the Jewish people. At first, Queen Esther was reluctant, fearing that such a request might irritate the king still more. But Mordecai reproved her, sending her word and reminding her not to think only of herself because God has placed her on the throne to save all the Jewish people. Think not only of your life because you are in king's house more than all the Jews. Thus Mordecai addressed Queen Esther. So can we say St. Alphonsus addressed our Queen Mary with these words. Think not, O lady, that God has raised you to the dignity of queen of the world only to provide for your good, but rather being so great, you might be able to be compassionate and assist us miserable sinners in our daily life. God has placed her on the throne, raised her to the dignity of queen of the world, being so great. She is able to assist us and help us in our daily life. And the first lesson for all of us is that we ought to seek the help of our mother every day in our life just as Mordecai sought the help of Queen Esther. During the course of their conversation between King Aswaras and Queen Esther, the king asked her with love, What is your request? The Queen Esther replied, If I have found a favor in your sight, O King, give me my people for which I request. In short, save my people is the cry. As for us, granted her request and immediately ordered the revocation of the decree. And now, if Aswaras, through love for Esther, granted at her request salvation to the Jews, how can God, says St. Alphonsus, refuse the prayer of Mary, loving her so immensely as he does? And when she prays for you and for me as Queen Esther, if I have found favor in your sight, O King, O Lord, Give me my people for which I request. Grant the needs of my people for which I request. Save my people for which I request. God will not refuse her. We have a similar incident in the first book of Kings between King Solomon and his queen mother Bathsheba. Bathsheba went to King Solomon to speak to him on behalf of Adonijah. The King Solomon rose to meet her and bowed down to her and he sat on his throne. Then King had a throne brought for his mother and he and she sat on his right. Then she said to him, I have a request to make of you, do not refuse me. Then the King said to her, Make your request, my mother, for I will not refuse you. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the King of the universe. And whenever our mother, as Queen, intercedes on our behalf to our Lord, He would always answer like Solomon, Make your request, my mother, for I will not refuse you, for I love you so much. So we ought to learn to seek the help of Mary in our daily life. We live in troubled times. So seeking her help, praying to her is not just a necessity but has become an urgency. 
when people around the world are dying of covid-19 when people around us are losing their jobs and more than ever when poor around us are struggling to meet their ends save us o oh lord is the loud cry of humanity and at this juncture mary our mother as queen is our only hope so we need to learn to seek her help every day in life and when we do so she in turn would faithfully intercede to god on our behalf the people of god for centuries together have expressed this faith and confidence in mary with this prayer and let this be our prayer too remember o most gracious virgin mary that never was it known that anyone who fled your protection implored your help sought your intercession was left unaided inspired with this confidence we fly into you o virgin of virgins my mother to you to be come before you to be stand sinful and sorrowful o mother of the word incarnate despise not our petitions but in mercy in your mercy as mother and queen hear and answer us amen Let's now have the prayer for the sick and for the elderly, the people that cannot come to the church, and also for people under 12. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our suffering and carried our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the sick. Help them to unite themselves to your sufferings, and if it is your will, may they get better. Let them never forget that you care for them. Amen. Let's now pray for the Pope's intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Just look deep, fix us. 
have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. A big thank you to all of you for joining in this wonderful experience, the Marian Novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help. A very special thank you for our wonderful preacher, my confrere from India, Father Ilang Govan. He did a wonderful job because, as you know, we recently celebrated the feast of the Queenship of Mary. And for our Tamil-speaking community, the parish has begun also a new channel entitled OMPH Spiritual Growth Webcast. So if, if you want to tune in for the Tamil Masses, go to OMPH Spiritual Growth Webcast. 
The cry for freedom is everywhere, not just widows and orphans, everyone. And so we end with this beautiful song by Cliff Richard. Sing a song of freedom. As I look around me, I see the world in a different light. Everything is changing and it happens. Say